خداوندہ میں تیرے نام سے آغاز کرتا ہوں تیرا بندہ ہوں تیری رحمتوں پہ ناز کرتا ہوں فقط تیری مدد اور استعانت کے بھروسے پر مجھے اڑنا نہیں آتا مگر پرواز کرتا ہوں I welcome all of you in this beautiful gathering with Islamic greetings السلام علیکم Well, my name is Umar Farooq and my father's name is Muhammad Farooq. Well, I start my speech with a question and that question is, have you ever had the feeling that the people's older than you are hard to understand? Or maybe you felt very easy and calm whenever you talk with the people closer to your ages than that of the older ones and the younger ones. You can probably thank the generation gap for these feelings. Well, if you talk about India, then there are four generations living there. The first generation is that who born before 1946. They said to be termed as traditionalists and the peoples after that are called as baby boomers and the peoples from 1965 to 1980 are called as Generation X and the people after that is said to be termed as Generation Y. So there are few things who tells the generation gap between these generations. Here we look at some. The first one is family system. Well, we know that the peoples of pre-independence era is quite difficult from now. At that time, uh, people usually live in joint families, but now with uh, we say, uh, but now we uh, we see that the peoples uh, usually need private life. My second point is about language. The language being spoken for pre-independence era is Hindi, but now there are a lot of languages uh, speaking up there. But the most one is English, you know. Well, if people having different thoughts and opinions, then this is not the problem. It's natural. But the problem arises when the people from one generation try to impose their ideas and feelings to the other generations. This is the fact. So, how to deduce this fact? How to overcome this gap? To overcome this gap, we need to communicate. But in this society, we see that we don't have time. We just spend most of our time in mobile phones and other social media, etc., you know. So, the only, my, uh, my point of view to only deduce this thing is that all you need to do is whenever you are sitting with your family members, all you need to do is to switch off your mobile phones and just to think what they say try to understand each other and that's all from my side thank you so much for your listening